As Season 3 winds to a close, I wanted to look back at the models that defined the season, and what better way to start than with squaddies. Squaddies is the new term created this season for non-captain, non-mascot models, and presented for your consideration are the top 5 best squaddies in Season 3 of Guild Ball. Starting things off is one of the best types of player a team can employ, a striker. These are the models that come from a long way off to take the ball from an opponent and put it in the net. Think Vitriol or Mist with their insane kickoff pressure, or the strength of the superior strategy Flint Missile. There's also a multitude of strikers that can benefit from linked activations, but for our number 5 pick we have to go with Alloy. Alloy joined the game a little over halfway through the season on the newly minted Blacksmith's team. With his 7-9 move, acrobatics, and 1-inch melee, he seems fairly average for his role, but he differentiates himself with his momentous tackle on 2, an above average tack of 5, and arsenal which allows him to boost either his melee range, kick stat, or increase his odds to hit. Then when you consider the buffs his master hearth brings to the table, you have a striker that can not only come from very far away and steal the ball, but does it almost dicelessly. On the opposite side of the point scoring coin are the brutal damage output models. These are the models that deal so much damage that your opponent asks you to explain how you arrived at that ludicrous number. They are capable of killing a model from full to dead in a single activation. Think Boar or Meat Hook and Butchers, Tater and Mallet are able to put out a ton with their bonus charge damage, but for our number 4 pick, we have to go with Spigot. We were tempted to go with Vet Decimate here, and her output is quite high, but Spigot needs fewer hits to resolve the same amount of damage. He brings his own tack buff with Floored, and his own damage buff with tooled up. When under commanding aura and hitting a knockdown model, you will routinely hear spigot players say 7 damage. Let's take a step back and talk about the unsung heroes of a guild ball team. These are not the models that score the points, but the ones that enable your pieces to claim goals or takeouts. When thinking of support models, you can go for goal enablers like Siren or Hag, denial pieces like Brick or Millstone, or even damage enablers like Meat Hook or Minerva. But for our number 3 choice, we had to go with Ratchet. Ratchet is unique in that he is the only model that provides influence efficiency through Overclocked, momentum efficiency through Fixer, a damage buff, and a movement debuff with Blaster. Most of the great supports only bring two of those things, and those teams are happy to have it. As we near the top of our list, I want to talk about the models that don't see much play, but can be extremely oppressive. They don't have the flexibility that the more commonly played guild ball models have, but if their corner case comes up, they are almost unbeatable. Think Compound and his ability to turn off turn 1 kickoff pressure. Vet Harmony for her condition hate? Heck, we almost chose Hemlock for the same reasons plus Blind. But we think the best tech piece in the game has to be Grace. It is no secret that Grace has been a thorn in my alchemists for as long as she has existed. But with the release of Falconers, the number of matchups she is strong into has increased substantially. Removing a Harrier from the field can be very annoying for Falconers, but for Hunters it can be backbreaking. While in the Smoke matchup, Grace can essentially rob Smoke of one of the conditions available to her. This is on top of the fact that she brings a pseudo-3 influence to the game and has an excellent toolbox of other abilities. To finish off the video, I want to talk about linchpin pieces. Linchpins are the models that a player can hang their entire strategy on. These are the models that are given multiple buffs during the turn, or have explosive high impact activations. They are most commonly captains, but not always. Think Vet Rage or Corsair setting up the perfect gutter activation, or Veteran Catalyst putting in the last few points of damage against a model that has burned all game only to disappear and deny the opponent any chance to generate momentum but for our number one pick, we had to go with Veteran Decimate. Vet Decimate is a model that has been talked about a lot. She is incredibly flexible, sporting a long threat range, great playbook, and high tag. Then when you consider the number of buffs that Brewers can place on her, Bag of Quaffers, Second Wind, Tooled Up, Commanding Aura, Powered Voice, you begin to see how a Brewers player can take a very strong model and make it nearly impossible to deal with. And that's why Veteran Decimate is our number one squaddy. So what do you think? Disagree with any of our picks? 
Did we leave out any of your favorite squaddies? Feel like swapping factions to try out any models on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Check out my Patreon, come to Second Wind, and be sure to subscribe for more Guild Ball content.